Realists and Doomers united as one together forever. What's happening in the world February 27th? We have so much to catch up on. But first, a big thanks to our sponsors, Peter Choice from Knoxville, Nurse Ratchet, I mean Amanda Gribben, and Jenny from Melbourne for the mic drop. Also, Alex Springett from London United Kingdom, and Obsolete Optics, and Melinda McGinnis coming through every month. I received a very peculiar piece of mail from Dave the Doomer down under. That's Australia. Reminding me that Doomers are paying attention worldwide and somewhat restoring my faith in humanity. It was a birthday card, a very well-written one. If it weren't for the looky-loos, you're the reason. Ain't nobody got time for Schmeagles and their little precious that can't be bothered to move their finger. Just unsubscribe. Leave the room. I'd rather have 50 views and 50 thumb-ups than 200 views and 120 looky-loos. All right. We're going to start with surface-level shallow news and then dive deeper into web-based content. Like I said, we have a lot to go through, but if you can find yourself not making it through, just let it play, put the phone down, walk away, you'll be okay. In case you missed it, Biden called Putin a crazy son of a bitch last week. His words, not mine. He could have just said, you're an evil asshole, but that would go against international rules-based order, and then before you know it, there'd be nukes flying up in the his house. Then, Biden low-key trips on his way up to the planet-killing Air Force One and forgives $1.2 billion of student debt because he couldn't have done that in the past three years. It's election year. Gaza is a disaster, and Bezos makes $8.5 billion in nine days while you work for worm food at a pointless job. Russia has a new nuclear space weapon and threatens nuclear war with Belarus. A space probe lands on the moon and takes pretty pictures of Earth, reminding us that we're just meat sauce fighting over nothing, really. A government shutdown is right around the corner. Trump is broke, paying fines, adding up $87,000 a day. And look at that NVIDIA stock. The stock market is fucking bonkers. Microsoft, Visa, Abercrombie & Fitch, Walmart, the list goes on. You missed out. You're poor. They're rich. The system isn't completely rigged. It's completely rigged. People couldn't place 911 calls because AT&T service went down last week, but they're going to reimburse you $5. Long COVID and Chronic fatigue syndrome is real after a seven-year study, but it's okay. God love football in America. Mm-hmm. Am I right? Pop the Bud Light. Then, a 37-year-old German princess strips down for Playboy. She's all right. They haven't had a monarch since World War I. And a pilotless plane has been flying around Antarctica while wildfires in Chile killed over 100 people. CC is affecting babies and premature births and affecting children the most with respiratory illnesses and cold weather as well as adverse reactions from heat. But let's continue to deny the whole thing. AI is draining all the water and people are puking green energy from norovirus. Final Fantasy VII Rebirth released. Everything is remakes because we're in the end stage of capitalism. We rely on nostalgia to keep the doom train going. Doomers. All right. Now that we've covered the surface level content, let's dive deeper into web-based pages. We have a lot to go through. Like I said, hang on. I'm going to rapid fire as quickly as possible. You're going to walk away and having learned something. Daily surface air temperature is still much higher than the 1940 to present day average. Even more alarming is the North Atlantic sea surface temperature from 1981 to 2024 is 4.5 standard deviations above the recent 1991 to 2020. Not looking good, as well as the climate graphic of the week showing huge ice loss risks from Antarctica's destabilization. Melting season was more than a month longer than usual in parts of the continent. 
has been exceptionally high temperatures since last March, averaging five degrees Celsius above the 81 to 2010 average for some parts of the melting season. In addition, you have to worry about thawing Arctic frost could, permafrost could release radioactive cancer causing radon. As it melts as a result of CC, which may be linked to lung cancer, while you have microplastics in literally everything. More on that in a moment. Canada's wildfires never stop. They just went underground as zombie fires smolder on through the winter. You've heard of this before. Well, it's a real thing. The 2023 was the most destructive ever recorded with 65-51 fires scorching 71,000 square miles of land. Unfortunately, there are still 149 active wildfires, including 92 in BC and 56 in western province of Alberta. In addition, Arctic sea ice retreat fuels boreal forest advance. It's the Arctic is warming multiple times faster than the global average, and the resulting loss from albedo and melting ice is increasing tree cover and is further increasing CC. We see the exponential factor here as is predicted to shift into the boreal forest into the tundra zone as the climate warms, but thus far tree lines have moved northward slowly or not at all. Linked tree line advance to declines in Arctic sea ice. Moving on, lack of rain leaves Italy gasping. Whoosh. Notorious for its pollution, um, as gas guzzling cars were banned from roads on Tuesday in Milan and eight other cities across Lombardy after the northern Italian industrial re region registered high levels of particulate pollution that is dangerous for health. 60 year old says it's become intolerable high levels due to three factors um, environmental group, road transportation missions, heating homes, and agricultural sector. The sky is gray even if it's a cloudless day. Now it's disgusting. Moving on, one of the world's largest cities may be just months away from running out of water. This is devastating in Mexico City's Tilpan district. Doesn't have big storage tanks so that it can't get water truck deliveries. We need water, it's essential for everything. That would be a catastrophic nightmare. In addition, Japan's early bloom of cherry blossoms sparks concerns amid record heat. Maybe this is exponential, don't you think? Videos from Kauza show the flowers in flu full bloom mid-February. There and here in Jacaranda, Jacaranda, I'm butchering that, bloom sparks debate about climate change in Mexico. Hmm, I guess it's happening everywhere. The streets of Mexico capital are being painted purple with the flowering of thousands of Jacaranda trees. The spectacular colors not only attract the eyes of residents, but also birds, bees, and uh, that find food and shelter. This year, something has changed. Everything is changing rapidly in front of our faces, as well as U.S. farmers facing harsh economics with record corn supplies in silos. They had a exceptionally high um, abundance of corn this year and regretting that they didn't sell last year and vice versa when the prices okay it's supply and demand okay they were not producing it and then now they are over 100 a lot too much over 100 never before seen species discovered along the deep mountain range look at these cute critters under the ocean floor near that they look alien okay there are just so many more species of fish there and coral and creatures look at this it looks like a uh, swollen hand and also a big discovery along the ocean whale song mystery solved by scientists you wonder where they make those wicked long noises and it was just discovered that there that's where their voice box is and we are of course disrupting their migration and communication patterns with our own industrial activity and shipping vessels. Fascinating, always wondered that. Whoosh. It's not just rising sea levels, the land's major cities are not, are built on, it's is actually sinking, new NASA data shows. I thought I had a graph there, but everyone saw this. Fossils reveal 240 million year old dragon, very bizarre looking creature. 
microplastics detected in all human placenta samples. Virtually everything we consume now has it. Climate change is undoing decades of progress on air quality, finds one in four people are breathing unhealthy air as a rising in temperatures, it creates a climate penalty. Serbian's wastewater adds to environmental woes. Uh, you can expect that, that it's Serbia's capital is famous for its pollution, but the trouble doesn't end there. It's literally in everything. Microplastics discovered in sediment layers untouched by modern humans. They were found in layers not touched by modern man. So they're actually penetrating into the ground and coming up in places we'd least expect. Carbon capture as a solution is actually a big bag of baloney because fossil fuel companies use carbon dioxide to extract more fossil fuels leading to a net increase of CO2. They're using these projects to further facilitate growth. Scientists identify a universal optimum for temperature of life on Earth. 20 degrees Celsius or 68 degrees Fahrenheit seems to be the optimal temperature. That sums that up. Okay, US company reveals the largest ever space capsule built for human space travel. You can get into this dome for $120,000 and be lifted up into space by an air balloon. Dr. John Gartner says Biden's brain is aging and Trump's brain is dementing. This is a fundamental breakdown in the ability to use language much like our country in dysfunction. As Texas voters say political violence is likely over the 2024 election. No surprise there. Ohio's ranked one of the most stressed U.S. states alongside Arkansas, Tennessee, Louisiana, Alabama, Oklahoma, Ohio, etc. Case in point, I am trying to leave here ASAP. We are also running a risky cognitive experiment on our own kids. Social media promised a connection, but has bred a crisis of isolation in youth. Levels of anxiety, depression, loneliness, and mistrust are rising drastically among young people. Surprise! Social media and screen time are displacing outdoor time and undermining the experience of belonging. Russia can't afford to win or lose the Ukraine war. They're literally spending their entire economy and on military spending and expect to get nowhere. Last but not least, you want to be a supportive partner throughout collapse. So from my psychologist, they examined a bunch of cases and they say play with lighthearted humor. That helps. Express your appreciation, good reminder, and listen without judgment. I second that. In nearly all psychotherapy sessions, it's all about listening. You know the answers. Okay, I rushed through that because it looks like the rain's picking up, but you walked away with something. Please like and subscribe. Hit the bell notification. Use the PayPal donation link. I pushed through this one today. And yes, this is called mala or prayer beads. It's my totem. It reminds me to be human in a society and a city that has gone berserk. This is what's happening in the world February 27th. Thanks for being with me. Have a good week. I'll talk to you soon.